Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect up your Wii U Pro controller up to your Linux based machine so you can use it on the EPSXC emulator to play PlayStation 1 games. Let me show you the controller right now. So, you should be seeing the controller, and there's only one way to actually connect this up, and that is using Bluetooth. It's just using standard Bluetooth, which is great, even though there is a micro, I mean, a mini USB. It's focusing a mini USB port here. This do, this doesn't actually have functionality for a data connection. It's only for charging, so it doesn't actually have enough pins on there to actually do the data connection. So you, you know, Bluetooth is the only way, even on the Wii U itself. So yeah, so let's connect to it via Bluetooth. This will work on any Linux distro. Make sure you have Bluetooth. You might have it built onto your machine, if, especially if it's a laptop. If it's a computer, if you've custom built it, you may not, and you may need some sort of a dongle. Obviously, you know, get whatever dongle that you need to, you know, get. Okay, so just open up your Bluetooth settings. Obviously, open them up as you usually would on whatever Linux distro that you're on. Now what you want to do is put this into pairing mode and to do that you just press this red button and these LEDs will start flashing. So I'm going to press it, probably even heard of the press as well and as you can see it's appeared right here. If I click that it will start connecting. For me it appeared really fast, sometimes it takes a few seconds, sometimes it's virtually instant, you know don't worry. Be patient, wait, and it will eventually appear. And that's it, as you can see, synced up as controller one. And we can close this down. Now in EPSXE, at this stage, it's connected to your Linux machine. You could potentially use it for other stuff, you know, maybe Steam, big picture, for example. Okay, so config, game pads, port one, pad one. And I'm actually just gonna go to default because I had already started doing some of the mapping when I was testing it before the video. Remember, it's on default, and let's just map all the keys. It's got enough buttons to fully map. So the shoulder buttons right here. And now let's do these. And let's just do this one. We'll do the analog sticks as well. I'll do them in a second. Let's do all these buttons. And now the arrow keys. Kind of hard to do it with one hand. But I'll get it done. And okay, so what's left is the analog stick. So this is for pressing in the analog stick. And this is for pressing in the right analog stick. That's my dog that's gone off because somebody's knocked at the door. Well, I'm creating a video at the moment, so I am not going to answer that door. Hopefully, my dog calms down. And I'm going to press up. I mean, I'm going to move it up and let's make sure that is right. Okay, that's. Oh, it's here. There we go. That is right. Okay, so. Okie dokie. One second. Okay. Try to try to quiet the dog down. He, he's a hundred percent happy. Okay, so we're at you know we've synced it now. And now let's run a game. So let's go to file. ISO downloads. Crash Bandicoot. Open. And now I'm going to press F3 because I've already got a save state. And just turn the volume down and let me show you this working. And as you can see, it is fully working. I can, you know. I can move around and that's fine. I can pause as well and press select to go back to the map. So that is it. That's how you connect up the Wii U Pro Controller up to your Linux machine so you can play PlayStation 1 games on the EPSXE emulator. We need to quieten down the dog, but we're all done now. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to 
you know, pop me a message and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.